Hello everyone, welcome to Numerology Predictions for 2023 using the most authentic and accurate system of traditional numerology you will possibly find. This is my once a year numerology prediction video to complement the astrology predictions already on my channel and linked below. My channel is dedicated to the ancient system of Vedic astrology known as Jyotish. If you want to learn more about this, please check out my channel at your convenience. Let's begin. So as the clock ticks and the calendar changes to 2023, that is the moment a new number takes over your life and your destiny. It happens at that moment, not on your birthday. I'll show you how to calculate this very, very easily. But first of all, let's see what 2023 has in store for the world and for everybody. Because as this year begins, a new vibration comes into play. It's a seven year, everybody, when we add up two. Plus two, plus three, we come to number seven. And seven is ruled by the planet K2. K2 is the south node of the moon in astrology. In addition, the mystical number seven is linked to the planet Neptune, which is a transpersonal planet, not in any way should be used for predictions for personal affairs, but it is very linked to the collective of humanity in astrology. The Neptunian vibrations are a bit confusing because they are like a fog over everybody's vision ahead. They stop you seeing what is ahead of you. It's an internalized vibration. And that is exactly what K2 is. K2 is headless. He can't see where he is going. He has to feel his way forward using his intuition. So a very subtle fog comes over everybody this year. Everybody is walking around in the dark a little bit, going round in circles. Truly, you will see this happening. Everybody trying to make material life go smoothly this year is in for a big shock. It is not going to happen the way you are planning. Whatever you are planning to happen this year, this is irrespective of your personal year, of your horoscope, of your Mahadasha, it's not going to go exactly as planned. But don't become alarmed. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to go forward with your plans. It simply means that the unexpected will happen. Unexpected issues come up. Unexpected avenues could be fantastic. Open up to you. Be prepared to do things a little different. Don't become thrown off when your well-laid plans have to be just tweaked a bit. Go with it. It could be brilliant. On a much deeper level, K2 relates to the past, particularly to the cycle of reincarnation. But generally, K2 will bring back things from your past, either this life, past life, something which has been dropped, something which has been given up or even forgotten. It's going to surface again this year for many people. The same thing affects collective of humanity. There could be sudden discoveries, sudden sudden things hidden, perhaps in archaeology, etc., where hidden mysteries, hidden artifacts, hidden elements of the past are going to be revealed. But be aware, everyone, this K2 vibration, this Neptunian vibration will encourage some people just some people, to very nefarious activities, under the cover, cheating activities, deception, etc. Now, K2 will let you get away with these for some time. He likes to turn his back for a little while. But then he will come down with even more exact retribution than Mars. You see, K2 is very like Mars. He is violent, but more violent, more determined to root out evil in the world. So definitely people will not be able to get away for long with nefarious activity. And there will be many revelations in the world of these activities, most likely during this seven year. So be prepared. I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of stuff dug up, a lot of stuff revealed that was hidden before that can be quite shocking. K2 has that shocking factor, not just Rahu, but K2 has it also. However, do not fear. There is a way to thrive in this K2 year. Who will be successful? Who will get the best from the year? Those who do the K2 Neptunian activities. Those who serve others selflessly. Those who think about other people giving to them. They will get enormous happiness during this year. But not just humans because K2 and Rahu, North and South Node of the Moon, are actually a snake formation. They relate to the non-human beings, wildlife, animals. The more we help nature, help non-human beings, we will also get success and happiness. 
And of course, both K2 and Neptune represent a cult study, metaphysics, the deep mysteries of life, astrology, etc. And indeed, spirituality itself. If you go deep into yourself, meditation courses, transcendental understanding, spirituality and occult knowledge, as I say, will enrich your life this year as never before. Now, the seventh vibration, 2023, will affect everybody, but some people are extremely strongly impacted. It becomes a destiny point in their life, a real turning point. Firstly, if you were born on the 7th, the 16th or the 25th of any month, it's a big turning point in your destiny this year. Or if you have your personal horoscope and you have K2 or the south node of the moon in the first house, fourth house, seventh house or tenth house of your chart, it's a big turning point in your destiny. And most certainly, if your Mahadasha happens to be that of K2 in the Vedic system, this is a year when things will definitely shift in a new direction. And please remember, in all of these instances, it's not about positive or negative. It's simply about you shifting into a whole new phase of your life. It's that simple. How to calculate then your personal year number 2023. First of all, go and grab a pen and paper if you want. Come back to the video. That may be helpful. Although you can also do it very, very easily in your head. It's a simple calculation. What do you need? You need your date of birth and your month of birth only. We are not going to use your year of birth at all. Why? Because it's not relevant. We are in 2023. So with your date of birth only, not the year, you proceed as follows. I've made up four just completely random dates of birth for you. Say you're born on the 1st of Jan any year. You add one and one together. January is first month and you come to number two. If you're born on the 24th of Feb, you add two plus four plus two, number eight is your first number to have. If you're born on the 20th of July, you add two and zero and seven, it's number nine. If you're born 31st of December, it's 31 and 12 December equals 43. And you must bring down larger numbers to just one number, four plus three equals seven. That's the first step you must do. Step number two, you add the number you've just calculated to the number of this year, which is, of course, seven. In this way, you'll get your personal year number. Here's those examples again. First of Jan came to number two. So we add two to seven this year and we get it's your nine personal year, 2023. 24th of Feb came to eight. We add eight, seven, we get 15. We add one and five together. Don't forget, always bring it down to one number and we get six. It's your sixth personal year in 2023. July 20th came to number nine. We add nine to seven, we get 16. Six, one, it's your seven personal year. 31st of December came to seven. Seven plus seven equals 14. Four plus one, it's your five personal year. Quick tips for understanding your personal year number, everybody. First thing, and this is very important, your personal year number starts on the 1st of January. Why? Because that's when the whole world vibration changes. So you have to change as well. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? It does not start on your birthday. Of course, there's quite a lot of misunderstanding out there. People are mixing up astrology and numerology. Personal year does not somehow kick in on your individual birthday. It starts for everyone on the 1st of Jan. However, at the end of the year, October, November, December, the next vibration, next year number becomes manifested slowly, slowly at the beginning of October and really strongly at the end of December. Let's have a quick example. Say you're in your five personal year in 2023. That starts the 1st of January. But when you get to the end of the year, October onwards, the sixth vibration, the next personal year, subtly takes over from that five. Five is still there all the way to the end of the year, but the six comes in. So you become a little less restless, less number five, more you want to settle down, maybe get married, maybe have children, maybe move home, do those domesticated six things. That's how it works. So I hope those were useful tips for you, everybody. If you have more questions, of course, please post below the video.
If you're in a one personal year, it's a brand new cycle happening for you. Leave the past behind. It's gone. You have to start anew. In a one year, you are given the creativity because one is ruled by the sun. Just like the sun, you are here to create something new. Initiate, start, don't be afraid. Ideas come to you. Listen to these new ideas. You get this big feeling that you have to start something now. It is meant to be. Go ahead with it. Give it all of your energy. And the power to decide is given to you. People listen to you. Go for that job interview. Start that new business. Don't be afraid to be looking for promotion. Whatever you feel deep inside, you get this real feeling. This is what I should be doing. And don't forget, it's a seven year. Intuition is so strong this year. Listen to your deep inner voice and begin afresh. In your relationships, it's a new beginning. What is gone has gone. Start afresh. New relationships often start one year. They can be very successful long term. Or you can even get married in this year. One year gives you the potential even for fame. Some people, you get known, you get noticed. People are looking to you with favor. Make the most of this. It's not the time to be wasted. Start a new diet, exercise program, whatever it is. Have a new way to treat an illness. Whatever comes to you, whatever good advice you get, take it. It could be excellent. As I say, though, remember, it's a seven year for everybody. It's a Neptunian K2 year. People are a little bit confused what they are doing. You must not let this impact you. As I say, intuition will be strong. Listen to it and don't put pressure on other people. They're feeling a bit delicate. It's a seven year. People are confused, walking around in circles a little bit. Some people don't take advantage of it. Don't be selfish. One year could make some people a little bit selfish. That will ruin it all when K2 rules the day. The more you help other people, include other people, support other people, because you have the power, you have the solar power behind you, the more successful you will be. So this is a new beginning you've been wanting for some time. Even if you didn't think you want a new beginning, a new beginning is definitely going to happen. So don't be afraid. Grasp all the opportunities open to you. It's the beginning of a whole nine-year cycle in your life. If it's your two personal year in 2023, you are ruled by the moon. The moon is about joining with others, being with other people, not being alone anymore. It's about cooperation. It's about family life, friendship and harmony. It's important that you are joining with other people. One year, you could start things, initiate, do it on your own. This year, you must cooperate. And because you are joining with other people so much two year, although you are attempting to get harmony, there can actually be disharmony. When there are so many people together, it can become a little bit emotional. That's why everybody two year can be very emotional, very sensitive. And especially because this year is a seven year for everyone. You see, one thing about being in a two-year, a moon vibration, when everybody else has got this seven vibration going, including you, it's a K2 year, is that your emotions become very, very deep. I mean, really deep. You'll become deeply sentimental about the past this year. you become deeply sentimental about friendship, family, love affairs, everything. Everything touches you. You become so touchy-feely, so sensitive. You won't even know yourself. Just accept it as part of this two-year vibration. But apart from your super sensitive emotions, everyone, two year this year is good because you'll be forced to, virtually forced to, literally support family, support your friends, cooperate. And this is what K2 wants you to do. So you'll be in tune with this and this will bring you happiness. Go along with it. Very important in a two year not to cut yourself off. Even if you are feeling super sensitive, even if other people seem to be very emotional and you don't know what they're up to, it's this K2 vibration. Cooperate, be with other people, join with them. Keep on going with this. It's the way to success. Two year, it's about who you know rather than what you know very often. So by cooperating, by teamwork, by working with others, you can get great career success. It's a year when you need advice as well. Two is about two heads coming together closely and cooperating. So certainly ask advice. If you're not sure what to do, get good advice. Teamwork 
getting expert advice, all of these things will bring you happiness and success this year. And certainly it's about family life, home life, domestic situations, which you should pay attention to. If it's your three personal year in 2023, it's a Jupiter year. It's a year for expansion. Social life now isn't just about being with others. It's about expanding your whole horizon. So typically, a three personal year, you are moving in new social circles. You are meeting new people. It's exciting. It's invigorating. Travel is extremely common, especially to foreign lands. Romance may begin. New attractions frequently come into your world when you're in a three personal year. The Jupiterian vibration of the three year definitely relaxes a lot of stress out of your life. That's for sure. Two year is very much about cooperation and, and all of those things, but it can be quite stressful. So this is a welcome factor. One thing for sure, a three year is never a boring year. There's plenty of drama going on now. By drama, I mean other people's dramas, other people's lives, experiences combined with your life. Now, this is normally interesting, stimulating to you rather than stressful. So watch the horizons of your life expand everybody socially, work-wise, family-wise. There is expansion, even children, definitely, because Jupiter rules children. Pregnancy is very, very common this year. New family members, expansion on every level. But here's the thing. Oh, and watch your waistline. <laughs> expansion can be actually physical weight as well. One of the best things you can do in a three year, though, is to learn. Jupiter rules education learning, even if it's not full time education, some skill based learning, some interesting new subject, perhaps languages particularly favored. But anything at all where you are taking up some educational course, it will go very well indeed. Don't forget, of course, we are in a seven year for everyone, a K2 vibration. How will this be for you? Very good, actually. It's good to be in a three year when K2 rules the day because Jupiter and K2 get on. So you will certainly get great benefit from learning, as I say, but also occult subjects, mystical knowledge. Everything interests you. So it's a good time for this. But not just learning, teaching as well. It's a great year for teachers or for anybody working with children ruled by Jupiter. And as I say, travel is very common. The mystical thing is, though, with K2 ruling the day, you may travel to somewhere where you've lived before. You may get that deja vu feeling. Don't be surprised. You, you actually have been there before. This is very, very likely. So there's plenty of enjoyment, relaxation coming, but don't forget K2 rules the day. He will demand that you give something back for this, not just take. So it's very important to give as well. Charitable work, helping others. Jupiter, by the way, also rules non-human beings like K2, helping those non-humans who are suffering. You will be happier. You will be enriched most definitely. If you're in a four personal year, you are under the rulership of Rahu, the north node of the moon. This is very interesting, isn't it? Because I've just shown you what this year is for everybody. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. A four year is going to bring you down to earth, definitely. A four year plants you in reality, in what needs to be done. It's probably the most hard working year of the whole nine year cycle. But don't worry, you will enjoy this work. You will want to do this work. It can be anything. It can be job work, career work, homework, building new structures in your life, repairing the home. It can be anything which needs to be done, has to be done. You are the one to capably do it this year and you will be called upon to do this work as well. One thing to understand, everybody, four year is a very karmic personal year, just like the eight year. Four is half of the eight. It's got a Saturnian feel to it, but it's actually Rahu. Those of you who understand Vedic astrology will know that Rahu is similar to Saturn. So it's definitely many demands made on you in this karmic year. But also Rahu is the other half of K2. And, and we are in a K2 year, as I've just explained. So unexpected events happen. Unexpected changes happen. And sometimes there are unexpected offers, unexpected openings as well. And normally these unexpected things coming up for you, job change, job offer, new promotion, new department, 
new romance even sometimes, new home, some offer comes to you unsought. That's the thing. You didn't ask for it. You didn't even think about it. This is good. Normally, I would definitely say. But because it's this four year in this seven vibration, there's going to be confusion and doubt in your mind. You don't feel really good about this, even though it's actually what you wanted. Take time to yourself. Think about it. Then you will make the right decision. Don't let anybody force you into anything. Make your own decision, listening quietly to your own intuition. So for sure, four years demand a lot of you and something else to be aware of. It demands some sort of sacrifice. Now, even if you have this job change, new job, new position, unsought, there it is on a plate virtually, you will have to give something up. It won't be just smooth. Something has to be sacrificed to take it. There is some loss involved. That's why it's such a difficult decision. So sacrifice is a part of four year. Don't think of it as something terrible. It just means that to get something, you have to give up something. That's just the way it is. Don't forget, a four year is about building for the future and repairing what is broken, including your health. So new exercise routine, new diet, it all involves sacrifice, but it's worth it. You can even repair friendships and even relationships sometimes, but you always have to work at these things. If it's your five personal year in 2023, it's a year for change. Now things start to move. Now things start to happen so quickly you can hardly keep up. A five year is ruled by the planet Mercury, so you will be on the move. You'll get really itchy feet. You will have excitement in this year because there's a stimulating atmosphere around you. You never know what's going to happen next. Thing is, it's very, very fast paced year. So new job opportunities definitely come. New romantic opportunities definitely. But they're fast. They're just all of a sudden. There they are. You have to get them. You have to go for them. You can't hesitate. Five year, if you blink, it's gone. The opportunity has gone. So be aware of that. But if you do grasp these wonderful new opportunities, it's a great startup year, similar to a one year. And after so much stagnation in a four year, many people, as I say, get itchy feet, want to travel, escape, go somewhere different. Exploration, excitement, novelty, it's all good in a five year. So for sure, doors are opening up for many people in a mercurial five year and you have to grasp them very, very quick. But this year, 23, it's a seven year for everyone. It's a K2 influence. How will this affect the five year? Well, it's going to cause some confusion. That's what's going to happen. There's going to be so much going on that you'll be left spinning, literally spinning. So you need to calm yourself down in this year. K2 will give you that confusion, not knowing which way to go. You could be traveling so much that you'll just tire yourself out, some people. Or you'll be so confused about all the opportunities that you don't know which one to take. The solution, of course, is to get time to yourself. Be alone. Have a little bit of time to listen to your intuition. Get enough sleep. Don't tire yourself out. You can easily get insomnia in this five year from doing so much. So taking that quiet time to yourself, you will know what you have to do. Which change is the right change for you will become very obvious. Now, what about relationships in your five year? Yes, new romance are definitely a possibility, but most people don't settle down to marriage commit until six year. That can be generally seen. In established relationship, you need to do something together, something different, something to add some spice, travel, do something new, learn together. By adding change into your daily routine with your partner, you can keep romance and happiness alive. It's a fantastic year for students as well. Students love to learn in this five year. The trouble is you get distracted because it's a K2 year, 23. So you have to try to focus yourself a little bit, but basically you will enjoy education. 
And business people, my goodness, what opportunities are coming, what new startups are going to happen, what marketplace changes, there will be no end to it. Yes, you can start a new business this year. You can start a whole new enterprise just on the spur of the moment, virtually. Five year is basically sky's the limit, just like the one year. It's the most important startup time, one year, five year in the whole nine year cycle. And finally, the five-year rule by Mercury is about money. Yes, Mercury rules money in our life. So it's great for investments, business, as I say, definitely good. But with this one factor, it's a seven-year this year for everyone. It's a K2 factor coming to Mercury. Take advice in big financial business decisions. It's very important. It can be good sometimes, but there is a specter of mistake because K2 rules mistake. So I have to warn you, Take advice and it's all probably going to be very good. If it's your sixth personal year in 2023, it's ruled by Venus. Venus, of course, rules love and romance. So it is very common to find new attractions, fall in love, etc. in a sixth year. Or even more common to cement a relationship started five year into something more permanent in this year. And if you're in a permanent relationship, when you start the sixth year, it's very important for that relationship. You have to get closer together. You have to heal wounds. You will feel this need. Relationship issues really take over your life in this year. As well as this, so sixth year is about connections to many people in your life, friendships, children, work colleagues, everybody who connects to you on any personal level. It's about finding harmony and much more happier connections. But the deep secret about a sixth year, everyone, is that you have to make a decision. It's a year of a decision. Yeah, decisions about romance. Do you commit or not? Do you even get divorced if you need to? This can happen sometimes. Domestic issues. Do you move here? Do you stay here? What do you do about your home life? Do you have children? What do you do with your children? Are they having issues? You have to sort them. Nothing about family, life, romance, home issues, love in your life can just be let to drift in this year. Decisions will be important. And of course, moving home frequently as well. But we must not forget it's a seven year for everyone. It's a K2 influence. How does K2 influence Venus? Well, it becomes very karmic, all of these relationship decisions and relationship situations. First thing, if you meet somebody new this year, they could be coming from past life connection very often to complete some karma together that can be seen. Or even an ex-partner or friend even could come back into your life, some people. And of course, I've just said K2 rules the unexpected. So there can be unexpected revelations about a new romantic partner in domestic issues and even with your children. But these don't have to be negative. Venus is a positive influence, don't forget. And if you're looking to start a family, it's a very positive influence. Definitely having children is very favoured in this sixth year. But of course, K2 is there. So for some people, there could even be unexpected pregnancy, perhaps. In business and financial affairs, it's a fork in the road, the sixth year. Do you go this way? Do you go that way? Do you expand the business? Do you contract the business? It's a K2 year. Take advice and you will make the right decision. Exactly the same thing happens in your working life, employment life. There's a decision to be made in that job. Again, with advice, you will definitely make the right decision. So generally, apart from the difficult decisions that have to be made, a six year brings you closer to many people. And this is favorable, especially to your family. And it's a K2 year. So maybe even family that you've not connected to for a very long time will be coming closer to you in this year. If it's your seven year in 2023, this is quite special because it's a seven year for everybody. So you're going to feel this impact so strongly. A seven year is ruled by K2 and it's about deep searching, a searching for meaning in life. So last year was more settling down. This year, you're detaching a little bit, trying to find deeper meaning in your life. Now, when it is seven year, this becomes extremely profound for you. What do you get in touch with this year? Spiritually, mentally, even intellectually becomes part of you for a very long time. 
One of the first things people want to do seven year is to travel. Very often foreign lands are the definite place to be. You will love travel during this year. Getting away to somewhere you've never been before will be very profound, meaningful and a very happy experience for you very often. You will feel very restless in this seven years. It's definitely not a good year for permanent commitments. Why? Because you keep on changing your mind. If you should start a new job, you're not quite sure about it. If you should start a new relationship, you're not sure about it either. It's hard to be certain about things. Everything seems up in the air and unclear, materially that is, in a seven year. It's a perfect year to go on a meditation retreat, to get in touch with your spirituality, to get closer to God or to the higher power, or just to find inner peace within yourself. This is a very necessary thing. It's a fantastic year for occult study, astrology, all of these deep metaphysical truths. You get amazing revelations this year. Such a deep understanding, as I say, stays with you for a very long time. So in material affairs, as I say, it's difficult because it's confusing. Not a good year for starting up anything. Business people, beware. You could make wrong decision, wrong choice, wrong investment. Wait until the end of the year when that eight vibration comes in. That will be much more solid for you. So enjoy the journey in a seven year. Go with the flow. Don't force things. Let things be. And you will find much inner happiness and fulfillment. If it's your eighth personal year in 2023, now is the time to grasp the nettle and go for those material gains. If they seem to elude you last year, if it was all confusing last year, it's going to get very real indeed in 2023. You see, the eighth year is ruled by Saturn, Lord Shani. He will give you the karmas. Look at the symbol number eight. You see, it's a very mystical, beautiful symbol. It's the past coming into the future and the future linking to the past. It's the eternal cycle of birth, rebirth. And it's about what you've sown, you will reap. But don't fear, most people get material gains, rewards. You get that promotion, you get that career success, you get the job you've been looking for. People look at you with approval and you can make a very good impression at an interview in an eight year. An eight year is a power year, basically. You have the power to do what you want to do, so do it well. And because it's a K2 with Saturn, you have to include other people. You have to bring other people on board. The worst thing is to get too puffed up, too selfish. Then it could all go badly wrong. Now, people make important career decisions this year, even retire. You see, if you do retire this year, it's probably going to actually give you good material gain. It's something that you've wanted to do and you've worked towards and you retire comfortably very often. The thing is, you are looking for stability this year. People want to feel grounded, that they belong, that they are important, that they matter. So you want to give something back to society, definitely because it's a K2 year. So definitely you may get a new job, you may move home, you may make some decision that brings more stability, more security into your life. This feeling about secure for the future is the most important factor. So you are less likely to do something terribly risky without thinking it through carefully. So because of this, it's a fantastic year for business people, investment decisions. All of these normally go very well indeed. We have to bring in K2 a little bit here. K2 with Saturn is about ethical behavior. Whatever you do this year, don't misuse your power. Yes, people look up to you. Don't abuse the power. Now, most people won't do that, so I don't need to say much about it. But K2 will bring back retribution if people misuse power in an eight year. Even in a very basic level, people have a tendency eight year to think about themselves, to think about just what makes them comfortable. So if you avoid this, if you get more material gain, share it out. If you get career success, be kind to your subordinates. Whatever it is, give out and you will maintain these material gains for a very long time. 
But for some people, because it says karmic eight year, there can be material loss as well occasionally. Don't worry if this happened. It's a past debt coming back to be paid. Let it go. Don't grasp onto it. Start again from fresh. Power is still there to begin afresh. Grasp it in this year. If it's your nine personal year, 2023, nine is the culmination, the end of the cycle. There can be success occasionally, but really it's already happened eight years. This is the culmination when you are going down the slope now, ready for a brand new beginning. You can't accumulate any more success than what you already have in what you are doing the way you are doing it. So it's a year for decluttering and not just in your home, but in your heart and in your soul as well. It's a time for getting rid of things that are just not working anymore. It's a definite ending time. But this doesn't mean you're going to lose your job, lose your relationship, things like that. It's not about that sort of thing. If that does happen, that's not about the nine year. It's about ending a cycle of experience. But strangely, even though things are coming to a culmination, to an end, it's a Mars year. Nine rules the planet Mars. So nine year gives you tremendous energy. It's one of the most active years in the whole cycle, if not the most active year. So, to burn off all the Mars energy, you should definitely get going with things that are constructive but don't have to be continued too long, like getting fit for a while, going to the gym, starting a new sporting activity, exercise activity, burn off the Mars energy in a positive way. And of course, declutter the house, definitely. Mars makes you want to do things, but the problem is, and here is a big secret to a nine year, whatever you start in a nine year probably won't continue until the one year. It will be a thing of the past by the one year. It hasn't got the energy to continue. You have the energy to start it, but it doesn't have the karmas behind it to continue. Nine is not a begin a fresh year. So it's not good to start a business, start a relationship really in this year. Short term, it can be good, but check it out next year. Relationships begun this year have to continue into the one year. Then you know they are meant to be. But in material sense, I've seen it very unlikely that businesses which start this year do continue next year. You would have to completely transform them again, start from scratch, do something completely different for them to continue into the one year. And this year, it's a K2 year as well as a Mars year. Mars and K2 is a very fire energy. It's a total fire connection. So you'll be very fired up about lots of things, but it's hard to concentrate, hard to settle. It's very hard for students studying. Also, you've got loads of energy, but concentration can be lacking. Everybody should try to find some time to themselves in a nine year. And because of the Mars vibration, nine year can bring in people who are disruptive to you, people who are Martian, argumentative, difficult, don't connect to you properly. That can be a very difficult boss, supervisor, work colleague. It could be friends who are very demanding. It could be anything. Don't get involved in arguments or don't get involved with argumentative or disruptive people. And also watch your health. Yes, you've got lots of energy, but the chances of getting very stressed this year are extremely high. There's so much going on. As I say, the most active year in the whole cycle. People make demands on you. Family, relationships, friends, work, everything is making huge demands on you. Give yourself time to yourself. Give yourself some relaxation or health could be harmed. And because you're rushing around so much, this Mars K2 energy can definitely lead you open to mistakes, mishaps, losing things, even minor accidents. Just be aware of this. But what can you do positively, you must be thinking? Well, here's the first thing, everybody. Travel. Travel is good nine year. Travel takes you out of yourself, relaxes you, de-stresses you. It's definitely good in this year. And use your abundant energy for the good of others. You see, nine is the year of humanity and we're in a K2 year. So everybody, no matter what their personal year number, has to act somewhat selflessly this year to get the best out of things. So nine year, definitely, you've got so much energy. Help other people, give to charity, think about 
people in distress, people in war zones, Mars and the non-humans, definitely K2. If you give selflessly, give your energy abundantly, what good karma you will store up ready for the new cycle that's going to begin next year. Now you know your personal year, everyone. It's very good to know your personal month. In every personal year, there is a vibration for the month as well, from January through to December. Knowing these, you can plan ahead and know what to expect month by month. And at the end of the video, I'll even allow you to just micromanage everything by knowing your personal days. It's very good to add these extra layers. Let's go. It's really easy to do, everyone. Here's an example using a one personal year. Because it's your one personal year, all you have to do is to add one to the number of every month to get your personal month. So January first month, add one. It's your two month in January. February, add one. It's your three month. March, add one to three. It's your four month. September, add one to nine. It's your ten or one month. Don't forget, bring down double digits to one figure. How will the personal months go for you? The one personal month circle in your diary. It's the big moment of the year, the big decision, the big change. Two month, it's about cooperation. Three month, party. Getting out there, socializing, meeting people. It's a fun month. Four month, oh, back to the desk and hard work. Five months, change. Business decisions may be money becomes important and travel definitely. Six month is all about harmony, children, cooperation, even romance. The seven month, it's a bit of a strange month. You can't make a decision. You can't decide what to do. Meditate and be calm at all times. Don't start something new. Eight month, you make a decision. Big financial moves can be good. But the nine month is the crisis month of the year. Stay calm. Don't do anything new. It's all going out of control. Finally, it's well worthwhile micromanaging your life down to the personal day. It's easy once you know how to do it. You can even work it out on the spot in your head. Knowing personal day, I've been doing this for many, many years in my life. and It's never ceased to amaze me how useful this is. So let's work out your personal day. Let's say you're in a four personal year and you're in January, which is a five month for you. And you want to know what each day of January will be for you. Because it's your five month, you just simply have to add five to every day in January. So 1st of Jan, 1 plus 5, it's your 6th day. 2nd of Jan, 2 plus 5, it's your 7th day. 3rd of Jan, 3 plus 5, 8 day. 4th of Jan, 4 plus 5, it's your 9th day. The personal day is such a strong vibration, everybody, because the smaller the moment of time, the stronger the numbers vibrate. You can feel the personal day right up in front of you. By the way, personal day is from dawn to dawn, from the dawn of one day until the dawn of the next. One personal day begins something. You're in control. You get noticed. It feels good. Things go your way. Two personal day, you have to cooperate. That's what it's all about. Three personal day, have fun, party time, meeting people. Four personal day, work. Just simply get to the desk and work. You will get so much more done than you could ever have expected to do. Five personal day, communication. The phone never stops ringing, but it's exciting. You may also travel. Six personal day, cooperate again, but it's love, romance, happiness and a family day. Seven personal day, mystical experiences, insights and all sorts of deep religious factors, but don't do something new. It will seem a little bit unstable. It's a day for time to yourself. Fantastic. Eight personal day. Make a big financial decision. Deal with things. You are in the power seat. People notice you. A great interview could happen on this eight day. Nine personal day though. Don't start anything new. Try not to go for the interview. Try to not make anything happen that has to last on a nine day. In fact, nine days, it's all out of your control. Even the food which you eat doesn't taste as nice on a nine day. Believe me, try it for yourself. It's a day just to let things go. On your screen right now, Vedic astrology predictions for 2023. Check out the deep Vedic system of prediction and see how it's working for you. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.